Yes. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to All About the, bu the Bass Stop Drum. Stop that. All About, all the, about bass the Bass Drum. drum. <laughs> uh, I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. And here we are again. Um, so, <laughs> what are we looking at today, Lee? We're looking what at... What are these beautiful things here? Yes. These are the Chowney CHB1s. Um, Semi-hollow. Um, short scale bases from Chowning. Right. Um, you've probably seen in um, previous videos we, we've done, we've covered the SWB, um, Scott Whitley signature from Chowney, the Volante, which is right. like the, the jazz Ricky kind of kind of mix. Yeah. Um, and um, and yeah, we sort of finally got these in. Um, these have been just on order for a little while. He's been waiting to come through. So we've got loads of different colours. This is these just are, a couple. These are very beautiful, aren't they? I They're great say. looking. Yeah. They look absolutely gorgeous. And pretty affordable for the, the spec that you know you, you get with them. Um, all under five hundred pounds, like with most of the Chowney range as well. So um, it, yeah, it's just great to yeah give them a go. And uh, and give him a play. Obviously, you you were you were doing something a little bit different there, mate. In the, in the uh, yeah, I have to apologise for the <laughs> shocking rhythm accompaniment in the in intro. What it is? <laughs> we just discovered this pedal. Uh, this is who's this made by? Digitech. Digitech. Oh, Digitech. 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 It's this. Look. The S drum. Mm. I have no idea how to use it yet. No. Apart from I've just <laughs> we, the bass we, somehow like we've made it play. Do this. <laughs> yes which is pretty cool isn't it yeah how does that work <laughs> so obviously there's loads of other stuff that uh, you can just kind of play the drums with your bass or, or guitar or whatever so uh, Listen, we're going to do a, a, we'll, we'll, a have a, we'll have a look at that or well, somebody's going to have a look at that in more detail but, definitely um, yeah, let's just... I thought we'd just have a little play as we saw it in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK. So <laughs> yeah. enough about that. Enough about that. So these basses. Yes. Uh, yeah, so obviously they are semi-acoustic. They are indeed uh, semi-acoustic. You... So that means that it's got, you know, regular sort of pickups, but it's uh, like a hollow body. So, like, it's the bass equivalent of the guitar version, like a Gibson 335, something like that, right? That's it, yeah. So sort it's that, that sort, of, sort of style. Hollow. That's it. You've got the yeah the centre block that goes through the middle, like like any um, semi acoustic. Right. Centre block that goes through and then hollow either side. Yeah. Um, and it has interestingly this bridge, uh, which is very old school. Yeah, good shout. Um, is uh, it's it's kind of is movable, so you just got to be very careful when you change the strings because this will just fall off if you're not careful. You might probably want to change one string at a time. That's probably That's the best shout. bit. Because um, otherwise, you take all the strings off. That's just going to fall on the floor, and then you're going to go. Oh, where did that go? <laughs> yeah. Probably a good idea to get a little marker pen out and just mark out where it is before you change your strings, just in case anything disastrous happens. It's a good shout, especially if you if you get these back and you you, you get them in for in like a proper setup with your with your luthier or, or anyone, and then yeah, you get them back and just think, oh, this is beautiful, and then you change the strings and go. Oops. Oh, okay. Wish I hadn't done that. Where, where's that gone? Um, so yeah, that again, but m like most traditional semi acoustics, you don't see that on like the, the Gibsons. They're more of a yeah. sort of tied down. But the older style, um, this really does hark back to a, a much older time. Oh it? yeah, absolutely. Well, I think you know like the Gibson, the EBO basses. Like again, they're sort of three three five style. I'm not sure if they had the similar sort of thing, but yeah, it is a more of a traditional. Uh, bridge for the, this side of bass. Okay. Um, but set up, you know, it, it's it's set up like a like any any sort of standard bass. This is quite nice where you've got a toggle switch, so you've got the bridge position, both pickups together, and the, and the neck pickup as well. But you've got volume and tone for each as well, so you can you can tweak them as as you go. Okay. Um, great sounding pickups, and actually, you know, you you do get there is something about that semi hollow sound that. Um, it just just does give it that more of an air, air airy is that a way to describe it? But an area, you know, airy sort of sort of sound to it. That yeah. that woody hollow thing that you get from it. it really so is. like the old Hofner violin bass. Yeah, you were playing a little bit of so yeah, that sort of McCartney sort of style where it is. You can really hear it coming through when you yeah. play that sort of style. Yeah, you sort of shove um, it on the neck, pick up, wind yeah. the top end off, and you get a very nice. Uh, authentic sort of sound. You do, but uh, you know, you had quite a funky sound on that opening track. So it obviously mm. does that too. It does. Um, yeah. I, I guess what we should do is is show people, you know, the, the different sounds. Yeah, yeah. Too. What right. do you think? Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to put this down. So, as you see, yeah, you're playing the drums at the moment. So forget that. One. <laughs> leave, leave the drums. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, what we'll do then? Uh, we'll have a little fiddle about. I'll go through. I'll start off with the back pickup. Yep. We'll do a bit of volume and tone on that, and we'll go to the front pickup. 
Nice. And then we'll do both together and see how that works. So this is, cool. are these the volumes? Uh, those are the, I think, believe these are the volumes. Where are we? I reckon that's the volume. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, that's the volume. Volume and tone. Ooey dooey. Right then. Sweet. Back. Pick up. Yeah, cool. That's 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 got some really nice sounds on it, but really it different has. sounds. Yeah, isn't it? It really does. I mean, so you can go from a real that real open woody sound from the neck pickup to, yeah. to actually the bridge. You can get that real tight again. That sort of jazz bass, slightly you know tone off sort of sound. You get it. You get it from that as well. Well, this, it's very it's really interesting because obviously we do a lot of you know we deal with a lot of jazz basses, a lot of P basses, a lot of things that kind of all sound a bit the same. Yeah. Yeah. And because initially I thought, well, I'm not quite sure who this is supposed to appeal to, but just going through the sounds there, you kind of think, oh, hang on a minute, there's there's a lot of different so possibilities you, here, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, and you, you, there, is, there is some options there that you think, actually, yeah. It, and, and obviously anything like that, I find it makes you play slightly different or, yeah, you know, oh, yeah. to, to approach something a little bit, little bit different. So, yeah. um, so yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, so we're trying to think beforehand, it's like, who would, you know, who would be able to be use it? What sort of situation would you be using it in? But... I think even if you're just looking to expand, you know, your idea of what you can get out of a bass, you know, just that, those sort of tones that you might be very, very used to, yeah. just change it up a bit, you know, and just go for something a little bit different. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's very I'm, light uh, as well. I like it. I'm Lovely. a fan, I have to say. Yeah. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. They it? look great. They really do. Oh, absolutely um, beautiful. So we've got so two of the colours here. I think there's five in the range. So, so what else do they do then, colours They wise? do a sunburst. Um, there's a, a blue and a red as well. Are they all sort of flamey like this? Yeah, yeah, all in the in the flame top with the burst finish. Um, and uh, when we talk about flame, we're just talking about the way that the grain kind of looks through this sort of translucent finish. So you can actually see the grain of the wood, right? That's it. That's it. I don't think there. I think this might be probably a veneer um, instead of actual maple. But oh, I'm not sure it is. But yeah, still looks stunning. And say ebony fingerboards. Obviously the crown style like inlays, all these little details, they just they do look great. Bound, obviously fully bound neck, double bound body, all these things, these little features that you know, someone if you just just to look at, you might not think too much of it. But even just to, to bind a body, you know, the amount of work that goes into that oh, and word, um yeah. and the you know the finishing of it to make sure it's um it's nice and even and it, it, there's a lot of work that goes into it. So for under five hundred quid, it's really impressive. It's a lot really of base, impressive. Yeah. yeah. And I'm seeing, say, a lot of people now asking um, for something a bit different um, when it comes to bass. And I think that's where we've done quite well with the the other um, Chowney instruments as well, because they are just something a little bit, little bit different. Um, but a lot of people asking about semi hollows now as well. So okay. um, we've yeah. just started doing Warwick. So theirs start a little bit pricier than this. You look like about eleven hundred, I think, upwards. Right. Um, but even those. People starting maybe there's a bit of a turn in in interest that is, that is going on with the bass, and they want. Well, I think a you're different. getting two things with this bass. You're getting some really nice different tones. Yeah. That we don't normally see in you know in a lot of the bases that we look at, mm. and also you just got something that looks really nice. I think it looks. Oh yeah. You know. Oh definitely. Uh, great. But yeah, so these now, so we've been waiting a little while, but now we're in stock. You've got all stock. the colours in. All the colours are in. There's been one particular. I think there's the red one that's been really popular. As soon as they've landed, they've just they've gone um but we will have more coming through um very very soon um but yeah we're saying it's it's a it's a new brand for us but been really really impressed you know really impressed so well if, if you're interested uh check out the website because i guess that'll have the different colors on right uh, yep absolutely yeah everything on there all the specs but most importantly you know get into the store and try them out because uh, they, they play really nicely they really do 
Yeah, they really do. And it's, it's a... Um, it's a scowling that you don't necessarily notice. I think you don't know, oh, right. notice so, yeah, that it's very much smaller. You know, a, but, you're right, you're right. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter, right? But there's something there. I think it's the thickness of the neck as well. It's quite a narrow neck, but very, very comfy just to, just to pick up and to go with it, you know? So um, the only thing I'm sort of struggling with is just pick, like positioning for the thumb. I think I'm gonna get it on the pickup, but that's not the only thing I'm, I'm sort of playing around with. But. Okay. It's literally one of the first times I've picked it up and played it properly. So, well, it sounds pretty good to me. But yeah, no, come on down, guys. Give them a give them a go. The new boys on the block, and they're doing really, really well. You know, it's really, really well. So, and, and the the players that I've spoken to and got them in their hands, you know, generally very, very impressed. So, um, yeah, come and come and check them out. There you go. Boom. Is that it? You've, you've done everything. I think we are. Yeah. yeah. That's covered it, isn't it? Yeah. Fine. All right. Just a wicked pace. Right. Yeah. Uh, great Sweet. stuff. Well, there you go then. So, uh, you know, thanks for joining us. If you like these, come and check them out. And, uh, you know, come if you like our show, click subscribe and come back and see us again next time. We hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, and I think we'll just have a little play out. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Just, you, you have a go at this one. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to play the drums again because I quite enjoyed that. Play the drums? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. I'll see how the drums work on this one. <laughs> Funny, 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 funny. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I'm ready to go. So we need. You right. ready? Yeah. Wait. Play something and I'll join in. Um. Okay. Ah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Oh. Lovely. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.